right, y'all. 602 Boosa back at it again with another one. There we go. We're headed on our way, headed up to Portillo's right now. We're gonna meet with some moto vloggers. We're gonna meet with some more vloggers and check it out. Portillo's is actually, from as far as I understand, it's originated in Chicago. And I'm from there. I know how good Portillo's can be. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and check out the one, one here in Arizona and see if it tastes as good as the one in Chicago. Also, I installed this, um, if you can tell right here, I uh, installed my uh, GoPro on my mirror. I guess that's the one nice thing about these stock Hayabusa mirrors um, is that they're just so big. It makes it easy for me to mount on a GoPro. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner, but it actually works pretty good. I'm on the freeway right now, so I'm hoping that this thing doesn't fall off. I mean, if it does, you know, I'm actually the kind of dude that'll go back and pick it up. Sorry, just me. But it seems to be holding pretty stable. All I do, all I have on it right now is just a 3M tape, nothing else special. Uh, so hopefully this comes out pretty good. And let me know what you think of the camera angle. If you like it, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, we'll keep this going. Just the little things. The little things that make a difference. So this place is called Portillo's? Portillo's? Yeah, the name of this place is called Portillo's. Originally, they're from Chicago. And, you know, everybody in Chicago raves about it. I mean, you know, from Italian beef to the shakes, the malts, everything about that place just screams like, you know, good Chicago Italian food. So they finally built two here in Phoenix, one in Scottsdale, and then there's another one that's in Tempe. And I like the one in Tempe personally because it's just, you know, it's a nicer to, nicer to look at. Mm -hmm. And you got plenty of places to take good pictures around there, so. So tell me more about that bike, man. It's a Vulcan 900? It's the Kawasaki Vulcan 900. It is an underpowered uh, city cruiser, pretty much. <laughs> Why do you say underpowered? It only has like, I think like 60 horsepower. <laughs> oh, I see, yeah, yeah, I know what you so mean. It's a, it's a small engine, but my Jigster was here in a parking lot, so I was kind of in a uh, pinch to get a bike to get to work. Right. And this is, uh, what I ended up with. You did any mods to it? Like engine or something like that? Uh, fuel, um, like a power commander, but it's not power commander, it's, uh, I think it's made by Cobra. Oh, okay. It's it's same thing, fuel management. Yeah, and then a uh, deep baffle to exhaust. Oh, okay. I want to get new pipes, but the cheapest pipes I can find for this are like 800 bucks. Oh, wow. We throwing some Screaming Eagle pipes, or? <laughs> no. Oh. Um, Vance and Hines. Oh, Vance and Hines, okay. You know, I was actually looking at the Vance and Hines for this bike, but yeah, they were crazy expensive. Like, they wanted like 700 for the headers, and they wanted like 600 for the uh, two exhaust cans. Wow. It was ridiculous, <laughs> so I'm like, okay, okay. Well, at first, guys, the thing was quiet, like, scary quiet. Oh, I know how you felt. <laughs> That's what's up, though. What year is it? Uh, 2011. 2011, oh, okay. Yeah, so. Next year, I'm gonna try to buy a, another bike. What would you get for, for a second bike? Would you get a, something sporty or what? Maybe another sport bike. I got you, I got you. Yeah. I need something fast again. <laughs> and then I'll probably end up giving this one to the wife for using this as a commuter and a sport bike as a, a fun weekend toy or something. Gotcha, gotcha. Something to take out with the group, with the fam, yeah. as you call it, with the fam. Yeah, that's what it's like. Just, they're, like, when they take off, it's kind of like, oh, oh, this is not what I got. <laughs> oh, yeah? I can do something like this. <laughs> yeah, see, I can't do that. <laughs> can't do what is it's going down for? Because it's Phoenix drivers, they have no idea what they're doing. I don't get it. So how long you been riding, anyway? Uh, off and on, when I turned 18, I got my license, my endorsement. Okay. So off and on from then, and then uh, I got my actual first bike when I was 21, 22. Okay. So I've been riding every day for about five years now. Uh huh. So I mean every every day I'm riding. Oh, right on. Okay. So, <laughs> not, even if, like if it's raining and I have a day off, I probably will still ride somewhere. Oh. So this is it, Portillo's hot dogs. 
Park next to them rail bikes. Where are they at? That's is that a bike parking? Nah, there's not really a bike park over here. But you probably squeeze in next to that other one. Uh, hopefully not piss them off. Huh, <laughs> oh, for real? Yeah, you'll probably piss them off. Uh, I'm losing room to get out. 